All right, Teresa, let's stay on the roads because we all know we've heard a million times that driving and talking on a cell phone or trying to text at the same time is pretty dangerous, but we still see a lot of people doing it. Many states, including Connecticut, already have cops out there looking for drivers who are using their cell phones, but the feds say that's not enough to protect people. They want to put tougher bans in place and make it a nationwide thing. News 8's Aaron Logan is live in New Haven with more this morning. Aaron, what are people saying about this this morning? Well, and the bottom line is this. How do you pay attention when you're driving to work in the morning, you're checking emails, looking at your phone ringing, answering it, talking about the morning meeting that you're about to head to? You're not paying attention. It's distracting. That's why it is no surprise that 3,000 people died last year because of distracted drivers. Now a federal agency wants to put a stop to that completely. The National Traffic Safety Board wants a ban on all electronic devices in the car. PDAs, cell phones, no Bluetooth, GPS devices would still be allowed. Now there were two very high profile cases that caught the NTSB's attention. A multi-vehicle crash in Missouri in 2010. Two school buses ended up on top of each other killing two people and injuring 38. In 2008 in California, a train crashed after an engineer ran a red light. 25 people died, and in both cases, texting and driving were to blame. Now, this possible big ban has everyone's attention. Most accidents happen, uh, people using their phones, texting. Uh, so do you think dangerous. it's a good idea to get rid of the Bluetooth as well, the hands-free kit, no cell phone use? I think the Bluetooth is good because you're just talking in the air. Now, a lot of people we talked to this morning said the same thing as that man. They think that the Bluetooth, banning the Bluetooth would be taking it too far. Now, the NTSB cannot tell Connecticut what to do, but their recommendations certainly do have a lot of weight. For now, we're live in New Haven. Aaron Logan, News 8.